Hi everyone. Um, you know, I, I get all sorts of questions about my taste in music, and I I don't usually have time to answer them. But you know, since so many people are curious about it, I thought I'd just take some time and share some of the stuff I'm listening to right now. <clears throat> um, okay, first off, I'm starting to get into Coheed and Cambria. I, I know I'm a little late on that one. I, I think a lot of their fans have outgrown them by now, but I'm I'm really enjoying them. Uh, they're they're kind of ridiculous, and I can't follow the plot line of their music at all. But I'm I'm really enjoying listening to something so complex and, and grandiose. It's just kind of inspiring for me right now to hear music with such lofty ambitions. And I've, I've heard really good things about their latest double album, so I'm going to check that out next. Um, another album I'm way into right now is one I meant to pick up but missed the first time around, Lonely Avenue. Uh, that's a collaboration album between Ben Folds and uh, the English novelist Nick Hornsby. And together the two of them just, just play off each other amazingly. Hornsby writes these very sharp, very literary little character vignettes, and, and Fold matches it by with a, with some of the best compositions of his entire career. It, it really is just some of the tightest, most thoughtful and evocative music I've come across lately. Made It's made by people who really worked very hard on every part of the songwriting process. And also I've been listening to a lot of Will I Am. Oh, yeah. That last one's not by choice. Yeah, yeah, I, I know it's a cheap shot to compare dance songs to like highbrow music in a completely different genre, but still, like going from those other bands to this is like going from eating at the Ritz to chewing on some disgusting Hungry Man TV dinner. Like even for processed frozen food, that stuff's not good. Like, you sure you don't want to get like the, the Boston Market dinners or the, the Stouffer's? I mean, it's right there next to it. Or, or just some Hot Pockets. What's wrong with Hot Pockets? Why the hell would you want that Hungry Man crap? Because it comes with a brownie? You realize when you open it, the corn is just going to have slopped over onto it. That's gross. Come on, you can do better than that. What the hell? Sorry, I, I bought some groceries the other day, I regret. The point is, Will I Am sucks. I like to do my favorite song on the radio. See, I actually remember way back in the day when the Black Eyed Peas were this bubbling up under the radar alternative hip hop group. Uh, I don't remember much about them, but I seem to remember that they were a pretty egalitarian group, you know, no member being more important than the other. But then Fergie joined the act. And uh, a new dynamic emerged with. Fergie being the star and the face of the group, and Will I Am being in charge of the creative direction, and the other two guys were, uh, yeah, I don't know, reserves in case Fergie pulled a hamstring or something. And although Fergie's fame quickly shot up past the other members, Will I Am was increasing his clout behind the scenes as a writer producer, making hits for Usher, the Pussycat Dolls, and Fergie's solo album. But Will I Am was putting out his own solo records too. For a while, it looked as if he would be the one to take over the lead role, especially in recent years with Fergie taking a maternity break from showbiz and also becoming increasingly detached from the piece. And yet, Will I Am has just never seemed to be able to attain any real success on his own, and God knows he tried. He brought in Mick Motherlovin' Jagger himself as a guest artist, that didn't work. He replaced Fergie with other big name pop singers like JLo and Nicki Minaj, that didn't work. This club is heated, this spot is blazing. By the way, yes, this is a sample of Video Killed the Radio Star. I like to call the song Will I Am Killed Video Killed the Radio Star. But after numerous tries, Will I Am finally, in the waning days of 2012, found a genuine, honest to God smash hit in Scream and Shout, the fourth advanced single from his long delayed recent album, and his Girl Friday guest artist this time around being the iconic Britney Spears. You are now, now rocking with Will I Am in Britney, bitch. Mm, no. No one's rocking with you, Will I Am, because you do not rock. Not even in the broadest sense of the word. It is a fitting partnership, as they are two of the biggest hit makers of the 2000s, and they're both trying to keep up with the momentum of their long careers against the onslaught of younger, hotter, better pop stars. And this is not the first time that these titans of pop work together. Britney's last album had a song written by and featuring Will I Am called Big Fat Bass. Big Fat Bass. Wow, that's really annoying. So is Scream and Shout for that matter. They're both really, really annoying. Everything Will I Am does is annoying. Obviously, you guys already know I hate this song. You might recall I put it at number 5 on my Worst of 2012 list, which, in retrospect, seems kinda low. Uh, th there can't have been four songs in one year worse than this. 
Damn it, why didn't I just say nothing and save my material for a full review? I was gonna give this one a full review, but it's likely going to be gone by the time I finish these top 10 lists, so I might as well just tackle it now. Oh, Todd. Oh, you poor dear. Todd Stradamus strikes again. Cross yet another one off the list of Todd's predictions for 2013. But why does Scream and Shout suck as hard as it does? Will I Am has become the poster child in recent years for what we think of as bad pop music, but what does that mean? Well, let's start with Will I Am's main contribution as an artist, his compositions. Will I Am does most everything on his music, but he apparently reserves most of his creative energies on his composing and production work. And though I despise him, his success does not surprise me at all because he is the master of the earworm. His songs just have a way of getting lodged in your brain. And it all makes sense when you listen to the musical pioneers that Will I Am takes his inspiration from, like car alarms, jackhammers, vacuum cleaners, your neighbors having sex, the dripping faucet that keeps you awake at night. Will I Am has found a way to turn every awful, clattering, obnoxious sound into chart success. That's the kind of artist he is. He's good at making music that provokes a reaction, much like the 14-year-old YouTube troll who's a complete illiterate jack-off, yet always finds just the right thing to say to make you angry for the rest of the day. But with auto-tune. Rock and roll, everybody let's lose control. And sadly enough, making brain-destroying clamorous noise is apparently the only part of being a pop star that gets him excited anymore. Because at this point, he's barely a rapper. Hey, yo, turn it up and don't turn it down. He's so indifferent about his lyrics, or just even the attitude of his music, or want to convey anything at all in his music, he sounds like he'd rather be doing anything else. As someone who actually cares quite a bit about lyrics, this is kind of a deal breaker for me. If, if you took someone who didn't speak English, exposed him to a bunch of party songs, and told him to write his own, this is what it would sound like. And this was not always the case. He at least used to exercise at least some creativity. Scream and shout jacks the beat from Dirty Bit. But I think the song it resembles the most is actually Boom Boom Pow. Now Boom Boom Pow was atrocious, more of a fragment of a song than anything, and much like Scream and Shout about absolutely nothing. What was a Boom Boom Pow? Why did we have to get it? What made it so amazing? Who knows? Who cares? Who gives a crap? Shut up and listen. And even that song was trying way harder than Scream and Shout because at least once upon a time, even the worst Black Eyed Peas songs had, well I'm not going to say good, but at least it had original lines. I'm so 3008, you so 2008. If only there was anything here that memorable. I don't think there's a single line here that hasn't been used somewhere before. Okay, let's see. I wanna scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. Well, that clearly came from this. And this part, well, I am in Britney, bitch. Well, that's, uh, that's just a sample from a previous Britney Spears song. It's Britney, bitch. We say, you know, we are, we are, we are. That could come from any number of things. Most of these phrases just come from other Black Eyed Peas songs. Rock and roll, everybody, let's lose control. Rock and roll, that future flow. But when you jam all those cliches together, what do they mean as a whole? When we up in the club, all eyes on us. Well, it's a club dance song, I guess. And well, I am apparently has a need for some primal release. He needs to scream, shout, and let it all out. So he's going to the club to get out all his energy. Okay, well, I like Tears for Fears. I like dancing. I'll try it out. Let's get our club on. Scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. Ah! 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 This is not making me feel better. It's kind of making it worse. There is no way this was only the fifth worst song of the year. What was above this on my worst list? Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle? Yeah, this is way worse than whistle. Bump Will I Am up to number four. When you hear this in the club, you gotta turn the shit up. And then there's Britney. When we up in the club. Britney Spears basically does two things on this track. One, a haughty Lady Gaga-ish fake European accent that sounds absolutely nothing like Britney Spears. And the other, a deeply uninspired bit on the chorus that unfortunately sounds exactly like Britney Spears. 
I wanna scream and shout and let it all out. You remember the Ama B video, which started off with Will I Am inventing a digital music machine that removed the artist entirely from the recording process? I just type in the lyrics, and then this thing sings it. Britney it, Spears it, is proof that that machine it. exists. When you hear this in the club, you gotta turn the shit up. When I hear this in the club, I gotta turn this shit up? No, 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 I do not. How even would I? I'm not the DJ, that's his job. And if I did have access to the DJ booth, I can think of things I'd do long before adjusting the volume. God, what was number three on my worst list? You can not go hard at each other. One more night? Christ, what was I thinking? Jay, bump this up another slot. Bring the action. When you have this in the club. The Britney Spears phenomenon only makes less sense the longer it continues. Britney, if you recall, spent about four years screaming and shouting and let it all outing, and because of that, she lost the legal rights to run her own life. And now in 2013, she clearly no longer cares. I can't think of two artists less suited to screaming and shouting. If Will Am's cliches were about I don't know, love or something, it'd just be lame. But it's always about how great he is. And it's always making the most insipid music imaginable while it's doing it. He goes hard, he's got the hot beats, and you gotta listen to his music because his music is like, like just so good, y'all. All anyone has to do to refute this song is listen to it. The song disproves itself. Say what you want about Pitbull, he might be stupid, but at least he sounds like he's enjoying himself. Well, I am sounds bored. Bored and disgusted with you for listening to this crap. Oh yeah. Does that sound like a guy who's having a great time partying? Oh yeah. Yep. Mmm, yep. Mm hmm God, what's number two on my worst list? Oh, I swear to you, I'll be there for you. Drive by? Okay, hold off on that one. It goes on and on and on and on. It does. It goes on and on and on and on. And it will continue to go on and on, repeating the same tired phrases over and over and over again. The same Black Eyed Peas song repeated into perpetuity. Someday Will I Am is just going to combine every obnoxious sound he's ever created into one giant ball of annoyance. Like the OEOs from this, the backup chanting from OMG, the chipmunk voice from Rock Bad Body, the constant repetitions of Amma B, the digital autotune vomit of their Super Bowl halftime show, the entirety of my humps, just just a big ball of noise. I wanna scream and shout and let it all out. I hate this. I do not like this, Will I Am. This song is so bad, I may put it on my worst list for next year too. I can only think of one good thing to say about this. At least it's not the remix with P. Diddy and Walk a Flock of Flame. Lord help us all. I'm Todd in the Shadows saying, ah!